Okay, when you cut, for example, an amanita in half, a longitudinal section, you should see something like this. So this would be your longitudinal section and the different parts that you're going to try and section should be the pileus and it may contain volal remnants of the universal veil, pileus context, stipe, stipe context with possible vulval remnants here on the outside because this would be the inside and of gill tissue so to give you an idea of what you would do with an amanita once you have the dry specimen ideally you've cut it in half so you can access different tissues without having to cut the fruiting body when it's dry because that usually <clears throat> especially the very delicate fruiting bodies they sort of fall apart when you try to cut them after they've been dried. So ideally this is how you start. So if you're going to cut from the pile pellis to see different placements of the vulva and vulval material, you might want to start in the middle. Towards mid radius and at times you may even need to go towards the very um, edge so we're going to mark these as one meaning this is from the cap the other possible cuts you will do are from the stipe and you may have to go to different places depending on what you're looking for and we're going to mark this as two for stipe. And then last but not least, the gill tissue, where you still want to grab, if possible, some of the pileus context, but most importantly, you want to be sure that you've taken the gill edge, and we're going to mark this as three for the gill tissue. Not perfect. All right. And here we're just going to cut around here. We don't need to go all the way down here. That's too much tissue to see in one section anyway. And there's <clears throat> and there's our cut. So my trick before I even hydrate it, I prefer to cut the tissue when it's still dry. You are free to try with hydrated material, but my sections are much thinner when I have not done anything to the tissue just yet. So the big trick here is you're going to use this like a cutting board. And this is almost like a finger protector. Press your material. I usually press it down first. Sort of keep it as thin as you can get. So keep in mind that this is now radial. This is not radial. 
<clears throat> and the trick here is I'm going to do it this way just to show you. I'm going to hold it down with this. And then I'm going to use the blade like you're chopping tomatoes, garlic, whatever. The first cut is just to create the direction. And I discard that. This is obviously too big. If you can see it, it's too big. So I don't want to create. Okay. So now that I have that, I'm actually going to move the glass a little bit closer because I don't want to give myself enough space with the blade. This restricts the space that I have. I don't like to use a blade too much. See this one I like. This one seems thinner. But we'll show I'll show you in alcohol what happens and how you can tell which sections are good, which sections are not good. Once you've reached the point where you're going to cut glass, you just move your tissue, you move your, your slide back, <clears throat> your guide slide back. And you can't really see because I'm right around. Let me see if I can move it. Okay. So we move the slide so that it's a guide, We're giving ourselves very little space. And I make as many until I exhaust the tissue. A lot of these are going to be thrown out as you get used to slicing thinner and thinner. Make sure you check your blade. Sometimes the best slices are still stuck on the blade. Now that I have this piece, I'm just going to leave it to the side because I don't want it. Now the problem when they're too thick is that they don't land. When they're too thick, they land. Let me see if we can use this image. This one is so thick that instead of it being landing so that we see this face, it's so thick that we're seeing the very top part. It's too wide. So you always want to make sure that this has more area than the top part. And the only way to do that is to make sure you have very thin sections. In this case, this one's very, very wide. So this is a for sure discard. is as simple as just dip and wait I don't want to bubble 
and touch. As you can see, it's attached to my And there it is. You can see how they're hydrating. See, this one's nice because it has, it's very, it's got a lot of tissue, but it looks very thick. If you can see it from far away like this, we call these cakes, slices of cake. You do not want a, a slice of cake. You want to see something that's semi-translucent like this. This one's beautiful. So now I think we're ready for the cover slip. Not a very big fan of this section. The, the context is good. You can see the hyphae. <clears throat> so this time I'm going to try and cut it without looking at through the phone screen and just use my eyes. I know it's right there. I'm gonna move the blade. And keep moving the blade. Okay, so these are the resulting sections. They're all one, two, three. This is the section that I do like. This one's going to be longitudinal sections. You can see a little square. So remember always the orientation. So right now, yep, so this is this part. Make sure you're not flipping over. Okay, so that's our box. And because we want to keep it longitudinal sections, we're going to cut this way. So our blade is going to come down in the same, we're going to be parallel to this and go down.
to get really low to see what I was doing. A lot of these were super thick. This one is so thin, you can only see the shadow of it, you can't really see it. So this is probably going to be good. So see how transparent that is floating in the water, this in the water and the alcohol, this one's pretty thick. Let's go to our last one, again, so thin that you can see the shadow, but you can barely see it. I like that one. Seems like I got more area. So let's move our section. So what we're going to do is we're going to rescue these guys, put them in water. Now, there's three in here and I can see one for sure, this one, I don't like it, so I don't want that. So we want to grab you can barely see it, it's right here. except it's not folding on itself, so I'm going to grab the other. I'm going to grab forceps for this one. I know it's there. Okay, it's in there. Okay, so this is um, one of the sections. Just gonna scroll so we can see what I've got. So you can see this is longitudinal. We wanna grab, make sure most importantly that we have the gill edge and for this, we're also going to do a square. Now the square looks a little different. This was number three, gills. For this square, it's gonna look slightly different in that we're gonna end up looking at a tooth comb, and I'm sure you've heard that before. So the box, let's move the box here and see what it would look like. Oh, again, for orientation, this is going to be towards the, towards the context of the pileus. So this is to keep our orientation, our bearings with our section. You want to make sure that you have the edge. Now what this side is going to look like is it should look like this. And these are all gill edges. What we're going to do when we section obviously is you want to go this way this way this way this way however this is how i was taught to cut many many years ago um, and i found that going from here down didn't help so what about the inverse? Would you go from here to here? No, this tissue tends to damage when you go in that direction. So what I do is I actually cut it this way. Those are the easiest ways to section for me is if I cut in this direction. 
first thing you do is get out, get rid of the end to make sure that you square it off. Now in Emanita, you can just grab one gill. All right, so I've got a lot of I did what I could, but These are much harder to orient unless you have them in something that's going to hydrate them. So let's bring our, our alcohol again. I don't even know what this is. It looks a little too complicated. And that blew up. Let's try this one. Not a fan of any of them. Too much context, unfortunately. Not enough gill. Okay, this seems to be the better angle. When I get to the gills, there's so much resistance. Okay, so of all of these, this is hysterical, this thing's falling apart. All right, let's see what we've got here. They might have better contenders, not really sure. I see a hair comb there. I think you can see several hair combs. So let's try to get these guys instead. The water droplet. Sometimes even these little pieces here show you 
what's possible if you go super thin, even though this is completely chopped off. Eh, it's too thin. And again, this has no real hydration. It has no staining. If the material that you're sectioning is, was decayed, started to decay, then it won't rehydrate properly either. Uh, but here, yep. This is basically correctly cut off. And then to show you an example of not correctly cut off, these are all showing the wrong surface. And so this, this section was completely useless. And this one really had just a few usable areas.